Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to introduce our presentation. We participated in category Cold Space Rescue U19. Our team name is Explosion. About our team, my name is Ali Muhammad. I started my robotics journey in 2015. I entered my first competition, which was FLL in 2017. My experience from it encouraged me to join FLL once more in 2018. I also entered CoSpace three times before, and this is my fourth time. About Ahmed, my name is Ahmed Amin. I've studied robotics since I was seven years old. I entered CoSpace three times. I have entered many other competitions, such as FLL, RoboGames, WRO, and other competitions. My best experience is that I got the third place international in the RoboGames at California 2018. We participated in FLL two times. First time, which was in 2017, we won the third place in design. Second time, which was in 2018, we won second place in project. I have also participated in RoboCup, but I wasn't able to travel and complete the competition due to COVID-19. But I gained a lot of experience from it. I also entered a RoboGames competition in 2018, and I got qualified to represent Egypt in America. We also participated in problem-solving competitions specifically about the Rubik's Cube. We won the third place in 4x4Q and ninth place on the 3x3Q. Executive Summary of Preliminary Challenge. The first we participated in Coast Space Rescue U19. We met many challenges such as collecting the flag objects, collecting super objects, and going to the deposit box. To solve the black object and the deposit box challenge, we used position X and Y to make the robot move as we want, which made us have more control in the robot. I had to go to the deposit box using a uh, position. First, to go to the deposit box, we need to take the position of this part. And then once the robot is in this part, we tell the robot to move downwards. Then, well, uh, once the robot arrives to this area, we tell the robot to turn to 170 degrees, which is right. Then once the robot arrives to this area, it turns to zero degrees to move straight forward to enter the deposit box. Once the robot uh, once the robot enters the deposit box, uh, now the robot arrives at the deposit box successfully, successfully and deposits. How to go to the deposit box using position? And here's an, a, a video example of how we go. At first, the Robot using the X and Y moves downward, and then the robot you uh, using the position moves to 170 degrees to the right. After that, using uh, the zero degrees, he moves upward to the deposit box. Here is one of the most exciting parts of our match, which is going to the super, uh, to going to the deposit box. First, the robot collects RGP, which is a collection of red, cyan, and black objects, in order to deposit them. Once the robot deposits the RGP, it spawns super object, and when we collect the super object, it gives us a lot of points. Here, the robot is collecting RGB collection, and now the robot is fully loaded with its RGB collection. Now it's heading to the deposit area. Now the robot is depositing. Now the robot successfully deposits and spawns the super object. Applying knowledge gained to the real world. Rescue robots are an important part of our life. They help us do missions that are difficult on the human being to do. And that was it. Thank you.